Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So today you will notice straight away I am sporting a very different hairstyle. So I've had a few comments in the past asking me about sort of um, sort of tie up uh, men's hairstyles. So sort of like the, the top knot or if you want to call it man bun, there's several different names. My hair's not thick enough, I don't think. But I have changed my hairstyle because I just really got to the point where this year, by the way, I wanted to really grow my hair out a lot longer. But anybody who has attempted that knows that the sides really are very, very difficult to style. And it takes not just a lot of know-how, but a lot of sort of different type of products to get it looking good and a lot of care and things just to take. And it just takes patience. And you know what? I'm just about to go through and have an operation done on my side. Um, this will be my fourth operation. So for about, uh, it's my recovery period is eight to 10 weeks. So I'm not going to be in a situation where I'm going to be able to spend as much time. And one thing which really does get me down is if my hair doesn't look sharp or it doesn't look cold, or it doesn't look smart, it really does affect my mood and it gets me down. Um, and anybody who knows me knows me for having, hopefully, fingers crossed, good hair and well-groomed, well-styled hair. But let's talk a little bit about my uh, my style, which I've changed. So I'm just going to slightly move off to one side. I'm a bit like a, <laughs> I've got a very bad side, so do excuse me. But we are here. What you will start to see is a picture of what I was looking at this morning. Now, I've been sort of I've been sort of playing around with the idea of what to sort of do, and I was looking at different pictures on Google. You know how you how you look on images and hairstyle ideas, that type of thing. We've all done it. Um, and for a long time, I really thought um, about what I wanted from my hairstyle, why I was actually growing longer hair. Well, number one, that was to cover up my hearing aids, but I'm kind of, as the years go by, I'm slowly getting past that. Some days I get times where I feel quite self-conscious and I like to be able to cover that, but. <sighs> There were so many different things. I've noticed that going through some health problems, the longer hair at the sides really started to make me look quite drawn. And I could see sort of health wise what was happening almost by how the style was making me look, which sounds strange. But everybody knows once you've had a haircut, you look so much fresher, you look so much more healthier and you do have that sort of sort of natural air about you, like you're ready to go, you're healthy and you're, and you're ready to take on anything. Um, so I really wanted to sort of change things up. I've had that style since must have been about since November. So I've had that style for nearly seven months now um, and just fancy something different. I was really getting getting down with the sides, especially after I'd recently had a haircut with the person who had cut my hair on and off for many years. I've been going to this hairdresser's since I was about 18 years of age. On and off, of course, I've had breaks and I've gone to different other places. But there is sort of about three different people which have cut my hair right from that age and I've sort of I've several months I've been with one person then somebody hasn't been in I've booked an appointment with the other person and then so on with the other person so it's three people so the one person who last done my haircut which to be honest with you I was really not very happy with I walked away and I didn't actually um I didn't I didn't go back. Now, the person which owns that hairdresser is, is a lovely, lovely person. And I wish after that I would have actually have said, you know what, I am not happy, but I'm not a person to sort of say when anything is wrong. Um, I'm learning, I'm quickly learning, and because that's a life lesson to be taught. When something's not right, raise your neck up, raise your mouth and talk. And yeah, I wish I would have done that. So I actually booked, I had, I had been looking around for a couple of other different places to see if I could get my hair cut. And I thought, you know what? No, I don't. I don't want to do this. I've got a really good rapport with with the people who I go to at the hairdressers. Um, there are other people there, um, so I thought to myself, you know what? Let's just let's just bite the bullet. Let's go back to them, have a chat with them. And I picked up the phone this morning, and I actually was honest about the last haircut I had to the lady which owns the hairdressers, and she was absolutely horrified. And I thought, you know what? I wouldn't have had to have gone around with like a hacked haircut um, for quite some time. Now, I could have had it resolved. Um, so they actually booked me in with somebody else, the barber actually at the hairdressers. Um, and I had a fantastic cut, fantastic experience. It's very difficult now for me to get to the hairdressers. Um, and as I say, I use crutches to get around. So with the COVID sort of precautions in place for safety, having your hair washed and things, it was really difficult because the sinks are very low down with these sort of lounge back chairs. Um, looked after me fantastically. The whole team in there were absolutely amazing. Um, very, very good, very impressed with the whole experience of the whole sort of hairdressers from the, what do you call them, sort of owner, the proprietor, right the way down to the person who's tidying up uh, the area. Absolutely fantastic team. I'm really, really happy. So I have gone from this style to, wait for it, 
like a like a top knot. I'm going to call it like a top knot. I've had several comments from people who said you look really really good with um you look really really good with a top knot. Um, I'm going to call it that because it's not mine, but it's far too. You can see so it was far too thin <laughs> to be calling it that. But I really do like it, and I'm not going to wear it like this all the time. The reason why I've got it brought back like this is because I've had it cut. I've had the sides cut. I've had the sides cut. And as you can see, I've got a defined line. So I didn't want it faded or anything like that at all. I've been looking at styles and things on long undercut styles on YouTube. And I really, really like that they have this long hair, sort of finish hair tied up. And underneath they have this really cool undercut. Because now, of course, what I can do is I can have those volumized big styles swooped off to the side. I can have a part and through the middle on the side. And it's nice and long. And now the hair I've actually got down to the bottom... Um, I was going to say the bottom of my ear, but it's sort of just about here, I would say. Um, and then the front comes in nice. But I, I did say I didn't want that sort of feminine sort of look in the cut. I didn't want it sort of graduating forward. Like if you to have it as an undercut, it would be shorter at the back and longer in the front. Then when it's brushed down, it's longer in the front, shorter. It looks like almost like a bob style, like a woman's style. So I didn't absolutely categorically want that. So I've had it cut. So it's pretty much straight all the way around. A bit of texture in the ends, because of course, texture and fine hair is really important as well, because it gives it life character too. And at the bottom, I've got this super short with the clippers. And of course, that's going to give me a really nice, easy sort of style when I have the operation coming forward. Um, and I'm not going to be able to stand up and sort of style my hair as much as I would like for the first couple of weeks. Um, so this is nice, easy. I could just grab a band, grab some oil, some like conditioning oil, or even some spray or some pomade or anything and just whip it back. Bingo. Smart, awesome looking hairstyle. Or I could have this is a really nice pompadour style with lots of volume, which you've seen on my recent clips, but I'm really very, very happy with it indeed. So if you haven't seen, this now is some of the pictures. I'm just going to attach them now because this is some of the pictures now which I'm going to upload. Um, somewhere on the screen, you will see the after of my cut. But what I'm also going to do in a moment, so do take note of those pictures. And then what I'm also going to do in just a moment is show you but do bear with me because my side is very very bad today so it will look as though that i'm struggling but i'm i'm okay i'm a tough cookie i can assure you follow back after my mum and my nan for that <laughs> right okay so i want to show you so this is how it looks at the sides how it looks at the sides here and then what you've got is you've got the back like this i don't know if you can kind of see or if i'm absolutely miles off i'm on actually like a, a swivel cushion to move hopefully hopefully you can see and yes i've probably given away how bad my side is but it's all to do with hernia mesh so just be really really careful anybody who is going for that type of operation okay so i really hope that you have enjoyed this clip i certainly have i absolutely love my new hairstyle so many styles are going to be coming up with this i um, really really like it um and yeah, I would really recommend someone doing that. So ultimately what I've had is I've had a, a blunt line styled all the way around, all the way around. And then I would say this is probably about a one into a two, maybe almost a, a zero into a one, actually. Um, but yeah, super cool. Looks really modern, really masculine, really sort of ready, ready to take on the world look now, I kind of think. Um, but yeah, the, the top knot sort of style really, really like that. Um, Call it what you wish. I call it that because my hair's not thick enough for that. But it looks really cool. But actually on hair thickness, who actually cut my hair? used to cut my hair um, about two years ago in the hairdressers where I've been going. And um, of course, with the COVID pan uh, pandemic, with the new measures in place of having to have your hair washed each time, which is very difficult for me, but as I say, they were really great with me today. Um, the actual person who was washing my hair actually said, from how your hair used to be, your hair is so much thicker. And I thought, hmm, have to take note of that. And you know what? Actually, I noticed that my hair is much thicker. And the two things which I put that down to is Viviscal, um, Viviscal Hair Growth Supplements, the hair growth program, which I have been, which I haven't, I haven't taken this year, but I took all last, most of last year, which absolutely transformed my hair. And this serum here, which is by L'Oreal Professional Cerioxal and it's Stemioxidine this and i've got a recent uh, clip on this as well this is my new bottle which has come through and if you recognize it in the packaging this is the packaging here um but i absolutely love this stuff and this really really transforms my hair um and yes i absolutely noticing my hairline these these areas here certainly getting getting fuller 
Absolutely, I do. Um, so there's just a little bit of a tip there if you're worried or concerned about hair, because I did actually have some questions from when um, the person who was cutting my hair, what do I use? And I told them what I use. So there we go. All good. OK, so that brings me to a nice smooth ending close to my clip. Thank you very, very much indeed for your company. As ever, it means the world to me. Thank you very much. And until next time, wishing you good health, stay well and, of course, amazing hair. See you then. Bye bye now. Bye.